back. The only person I can think of who's legitimately improved their stock, I'm talking on the running side of things here, uh, is Ajay Wilson after that 157. I know it's a weird race because she was running with the men, but we saw her barely squeak by in the women's 800 in Eugene, and she runs this 157 at the Penn Relays. I think she's improved her situation, but most other people at Gordon either haven't raced or have raced around the same level, or it's like Bromel, they they lost in, in a weird race, but then came back and won, but they already were the favorite to begin with, so it didn't really change your opinion of them. What do you think about Ajay Wilson running an 800 with a bunch of boys? It's kind of unique. Men. Like, men. men. It's fun to say. It's fun to call them boys. And then there's probably some high school kids in there, so they're boys. Uh, but, like, you see her on the screen right now. She's, like, in the back of that front pack. Like, if you're yeah. in this race with an Olympian, Ajay Wilson, what's your – like, what do you think that, that white kid right there is thinking right now on the shoulder watching Ajay kind of pass her, pass him on the first 300? Well, he tries to pass her back here too, which probably – you know, a little, little going a little too soon there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to be a thrill, right? You're in, you're in this race. It's it's a good it's a good race, but there's one star in this race, and it's the person who's in the middle of the pack. So I see the time, right? I see 157, and then I see that it was in a race with boys, and I'm thinking, or right, men. See, now you got me saying boys. This is weird. <laughs> it's in, funny in, to say in boys. a race with in a in a race with men, and I'm wondering, okay, did that help her or did that hurt her? Did it give her a chance to? chase and really get after it or did people get in her way and after i watched the race i i guess you can make an argument in in both directions there you saw with about four meters ago there was obviously some traffic she's navigating around but at this point right here she has people to chase those of you who are watching right now on on the live stream whereas if she's running a 157 there's only a handful of women in the world right now who who, who would be there to let her chase but I just liked the way she looked. I liked how aggressive she was in this race coming off of, again, getting that third spot in that final 100 in Eugene. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't a PB for her, but a 157, I don't think we can count out 157s right now. We saw you know, how fast that Diamond League 800 went last week, but that was Laura Muir, and Laura Muir's not even running the 800. So um, I, think, I think Wilson, I'd say her stock ticked up a little bit here, and I'm glad she was able to jump in this race it's weird so she's been in races with ridiculously fast people before she's been in races with caster semenya she's been in races with francine Nianzaba, but she's never been in a race where the winning time was was that quick yeah. so it had to have been a, a yeah 150 right even though it wasn't anything to sneeze at from a men's time perspective it had to be a different type of experience for her yeah and i think she probably did it i don't think she did it for the like the dynamic of being in a pack. I think it was purely probably a uh, a scheduling situation, and she sure. knew that she wanted to be in a field where people would go out in at least sub sixty, and she wasn't sure she would mm -hmm. get that in a women's heat. Um, and then because she came back and then runs like a four forty three mile and wins it in, in mm -hmm. the women's mile, so she was clearly turning this into like a workout type session. Philadelphia is her home training base, so this was. Uh, kind of convenient for her for the pen relays to put off this put on this unique uh, all comers meet um, during in the middle of the summer. It's kind of weird seeing pen track events in yeah, July. Yeah, yeah. It's like what are we doing here? But pen relay should be back live on Flow in 2022. Darn, I just think darn, darn, darn it. I hope it happens. I hope we I hope we have track. I could, U.S. Well, I at least will keep going track, so that's good. Yeah, I just think 157 for her, it didn't matter if it was solo. It didn't matter if she was in a big pack, if there were the wave light technology was out there. She just got a good time in regardless. And yeah. people can argue about what it would have converted to in a regular women's only field all they want. I just think it's a good sign moving to Tokyo. And it shows that, that her trajectory is going in the right direction. We got a question here.